Hey, it's your girl Shamay Speaks. Thanks for tuning in. It is Speak On It Saturday, and as usual, I got something to speak on. I've kind of mentioned it before on my Facebook, but I definitely want to get different people's point of view. Men, women, it doesn't matter. So, the topic today is what red flags have you ignored in any relationship when, you know, dating someone or whatever. And with those red flags, what have you learned about yourself when you hopefully got out of that situation and reflected back and noticed some of those red flags you may have missed along the way. So what are some of the red flags that you missed? I think um, I can name some um, from my observations as well as my personal experience. Um, some red flags is, I'm trying to think of the best one. He doesn't respond to your text messages right away. And he always claims to be working. Um, he claims to be an amazing father, but you would never actually see him with his kids. So those are those are a couple ones. You know, those are the things where you're like, mm, oh yeah, well you're supposed to be a great dad, but I don't, I don't never see your kids. Um, you've been dating for a year, and his kids live in the same city, and you've never met him. A little weird, just saying. Um, you something that you just kind of got to think about, like, you know, I don't know. But as a woman, you know when you have that intuition and you know that something is just not sitting well with you. Something's not right. Something doesn't make sense. And it, it's just, hmm, yeah. So you got to take time to analyze and get to know someone so you don't overlook these red flags. But there's a lot of other red flags that will tell you to run the other way. It might be, it might be even God telling you, girl, he ain't for you. He just is not for you. I have one particular situation that I know of, and I'm not even gonna say I'm a judge of this person, but it just makes you go, <clears throat> if I wanted to, if I attempted to try to understand your logic behind bypassing all these red flags, I don't know what I would, I would go crazy. So I know a particular person who has been with someone for, they, they claim, you know, four years, yet when they met them, they started off as a side chick interesting well four years later the guy that they're with has had two children not with her with two other women and has had a heat she caught him having a year-long affair and for whatever reason she still wants to be with him I don't know because like there's certain little red flags that are like little little ones that you miss and you don't realize until you're out of the relationship but when you see them glaring ones, whoo, like having a baby with someone else other than you while you're living with you and with you, big red flag, like red flag flying in your face. Um, catching someone on your Facebook telling you, uh, hey, I seen this one girl who's my Facebook friend that has a profile picture of her, her and your boyfriend on Valentine's Day. Glaring red flag. I mean, we don't really need to say, explain that. That's pretty much a red flag. So there's just certain things that is like, they could be red flags, but you might be like, that's a big red flag. You know, you got to think about it. So, but you know, at the end of the day, those red flags start with you. Knowing yourself, knowing what to look out for, appreciating yourself and loving yourself. When you start to love yourself, you, to me, you tend to not overlook the bigger picture. You know, if someone's, having kids with other women besides you, that's a red flag because you, do you really want that? Are you really going to support that? I, I personally, no. So it's up to you, but just watch out for the red flags when you're dating. Really take your time to get to know someone and, and protect your feelings. That's definitely something that's great when you're watching out for red flags. Just make sure you know yourself and you love yourself and don't overlook the signs. If you feel like something isn't right right here, then it might not be right. You might want to run the other way, investigate a little more and try to figure it out because it does take a long time to really get to know someone. And actually I was on Coffee TV 20, shout out Dalsa for the dose of life. Um, I appreciate them, Feral Films, for letting me come and be on the Around My Way show. You guys should tune in Saturdays, 1.30 on Coffee TV 20. You can DVR it. That's amazing. Um, before I go, because I'm in it before my five minutes, I definitely want to give a shout out to all my Toy Drive sponsors. If you live in Pittsburgh, please go to Little J's, Sassy Sweets, Nicole Barton Photography, or uh, Wilson's Dance Studio, Red's Barbershop, um, 
I really appreciate their support and make a toy donation. I love it. And shout out to Little Jays. I'm actually going to his anniversary party today. His 11 year anniversary is my friend Aaron, known him for a really long time. I want to give a special thanks to him. And if you're in need, please go ahead and inbox me. Definitely taking some extra kids for our toy drive. So I just want to sign out and tell everyone thanks for tuning in and thanks to the man above for giving me another day. I will see you tomorrow for Soul Searching Sunday. I hope you get to speak on it today and let me know what you feel. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Shamay Speaks. Good night.